you talked a little bit early on when you were kind of taking me through about, you know, your grandparents and your mom and, and your support system and how, you know, that, you know, you really trusted that, that inner circle, um, especially growing up. I mean, how important was your family to, you know, allowing you to be able to do all these things? It was very important. Um, again, growing up in Patterson, New Jersey, uh, for me, it was an amazing place to be, right? But from the outside looking in, um, we were always judged, always judged. Almost like there was nothing good that can come from the city. And if something good came from that city, it was an anomaly and it was by happenstance. Um, so my grandparents always kind of try to keep me on a straight and narrow um, because they didn't want me to make the mistakes that, you know, maybe um, some of the other children, maybe my dad made or, or maybe those, you know, that were, that I would see every day had made, right? So they always pretty much kept me very focused, um, specifically on school, on my, on my schooling, my academics. So that was always first. Sports came, came last. Um, and specifically in that order, right? Sports was last, music was right after school, you know? So that was their thing. Um, man, and they just really kept me focused. And that focus at a very, very young age allowed me to keep that, that focus, even as a teenager. And I didn't even know it, right? Because I had already been committed to certain things for so many years in my young, young life that it just kind of became, you know, a way of life, a habit, right? So you help your children form good habits at a young age. Of course, they're gonna grow up and they're gonna, you know, want to do things on their own and make their own decisions, but at least they have that foundation, right? So they helped me build that foundation, which then I was able to stand on and, and you know, make halfway decent decisions you know you you can't you never know what kind of decision a child is going to make a teenager is going to make you know because there's like so many different influences but I can say that the foundation that my grandparents and my mom laid for me at a very young age definitely kept me grounded and um even with my uh my best friends at that age right um I had two best friends at that age and their families were the same way so it you know it, it was it was good to be surrounded by like-minded people right um so again i had an amazing foundation and that just kind of helped me stand 10 toes down and stay grounded the entire way um and stay focused because if if it ever looked like i was going to step out of line or veer off course of course i had my family but then i had those extended families from my best friend that would also steer me right back on course. So it is very important to establish that at a young age. Sometimes people don't get that until, you know, they're in their twenties and then, you know, they find themselves playing, I guess, playing catch up, but it's not really catch up because it's just a part of life. It's just, you know, it's just your timing. My timing just was different. You know, it doesn't make it any better than anyone else's timing. That was just my timing. Um, man, and boy, am I grateful for it. So I, and I also had some amazing basketball coaches that, that were not committed to just teaching the game of basketball, but they were committed to teaching the game of life. The kids that didn't all, that didn't all, that didn't know that they could possibly create opportunities for themselves because growing up in Patterson, you don't think you have any opportunities. You see. You see one one way of life, but now I, I can honestly say that they're able to see many walks of life now because there's so many great people coming from that city. Um, so, and and I always had that in the back of my mind that I just wanted to be a great example for, for them, right? To show them that they can do things just like I could, um, as long as they put their minds to it because it wasn't like an opportunity was given to me. I had to create those things, I had to create those opportunities. And then, um, and if the opportunity isn't there, if the wall is in the way, if the door is in the way, you knock it down. You know, if, if that's your only way out, if you're trapped in a room and, and that door, that bolted door is the only way out, are you just going to sit there and wallow and cry? No, you're going to try to get out, right? That's all I did. 
I said, no matter what, it didn't matter if I went to a major D1 university and played basketball, if I went to a D3 and didn't get a scholarship for basketball, I was going to get a scholarship for academics. I was going to find a way <laughs> to, to get school paid for because I knew my family couldn't afford it. I was going to find a way. And that's, I guess that's ultimately what I want people to know is that there is a way. You just have to, sometimes you got to be innovative. You got to be creative. But one thing we do know is that you got to be determined and committed. And that's all I got for you. <laughs>